Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Florentina and today I want to show you my routine for the pancake stretch. What is the pancake stretch? I'm going to show you. Well, the pancake stretch is going to help you to get your box split or your middle split. So basically, just have a seat, open your legs, but not to your maximum, just open your legs where you feel comfortable. And then I'm going to show you what I'm doing in order to get comfortable and then to open my legs even more in this position. Great, have a seat and we're gonna start with our ankles. So we're gonna rotate our ankles and do the other way around. And then I want you to point your toes. So point your toes and then I want you to flex your toes. So point and flex. Your ankle might make this noise just like mine, but don't worry about it, it's very normal. Keep rotating your ankle. But before we start, I would like to show you the wrong way of doing this pose. I saw this uh, wrong way of doing it at the gym a lot. So basically the people keep their legs relaxed and then they bend forward with their back rounded like this. And they keep pushing, but they don't go any further. Well, you don't want to bend from your lower back. You actually you want to move from your hips. So you want to push your hips forward in order to reach as far as you can in front of you. So it's very hard to get this movement into the hips. And that's why we're going to focus a lot in this video on this hip movement. So I like to start moving left and right so place your hands on your hips and just move left and right a few times as far as you can try not to do this movement very fast it's not about the speed it's not the speed that will get you further into this pose it's actually the relaxation of the muscle and your breath so Keep breathing, but try to be relaxed in this pose. And remember to keep your back straight. There is no other pose except cat cow that will help you to get any further by keeping your back rounded. But in this pose, no, don't keep your back rounded. Okay, so just move left and right. In this position, you can keep your toes relaxed. You don't have to do anything. Once you flex your toes, it's going to be more intense, but at the moment we don't want that. We just want to relax and just keep moving. Great. Now we're going to add more movement into the hands. So we're going to place the left hand on the floor and with the right hand we're going to reach over like this. Don't worry if you don't go all the way. It's just important to do this movement. And if you sit down and you realize that you can open your legs as far as I can, don't worry about it. This is not the purpose of this stretch. The purpose of this stretch is doing it. Just do it. So sometimes people, they compare themselves with other people and they say, well, they can't do that and I can't do it. Well, don't compare your results with other people unless you know exactly how much time they put in order to get that result. So in my case, I have more than two years of practice and I'm practicing, I'm practicing this every single day. So this is what you need to know at the beginning. So if you've never done this stretch before and you start doing this stretch and it's very intense, it's very hard, you can't go as far as I can or you can't bend this much, don't worry, keep practicing and probably in two and a half years you're going to be better than I am. Okay, so let's carry on. Reach over with your other hand. Don't push anything, just relax. If you can't touch your other foot, don't worry. Just go as, as high as this. It's fine. Two and a half years ago, when I started my flexibility journey, I used to do a lot of poses in one hour. For example, I was doing maybe like 25. But now, 
I like to do less and focus more on the pose. So if I'm doing the pancake stretch, which means this one, I like to keep it maybe for five minutes. I like to work on this pose for five minutes and you will get the results even faster. You don't have to do so many poses. You can do maybe five in one hour, but you can make them very intense and you can get to your goal as fast as while you're doing the other ones. Okay. Keep reaching over. Great. Now I want you to push into the floor and try to lift your hips off the floor. And in the same time, I want you to flex your toes. Yet they're no longer pointing, they're flexed like this. So push into the floor and lift your hips up and try to get with your hips a bit closer. So lift and then sit down again. Lift, maybe hold it here for a bit and sit down. Lift, sit down. Very good. Keep moving, keep, do this movement, left and right. And then I like to do a rotation. So I like to face the left foot middle and then the right foot so we're gonna do this a few times remember to keep your back straight if you can't go as far as i can just keep your back straight and just do as far as you can like this if you can't go all the way just go all the way Right. Another thing that I like to do is to walk my hands forward as much as I can and then walk back. So inhale, lift your chest up, keep your back straight and keep walking forward with your hands. Slowly walk back. And again. The more you practice this pose, the better it's going to be and the more you're going to open your legs and it's going to help you with your middle split. How? Well, from this position, you can bend your elbows and then you can push your hips forward into the middle split and probably at the beginning, your hips will come up like this. Maybe at the beginning, they will come up. If you're very, very close to your middle split, they won't come up as much. So. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.